and things. Today I'm going to be making bones. And I'm in the process. I don't have one ready yet, but you'll you'll see. It's exciting. So what I've done is I've put uh, white chocolate chips just in this small pan and I have I, it's on super low, like super low. It's barely melting it, but it's, it's doing its job. And this way it won't burn, and I really don't want it to burn. And this will be ready very soon. In the meantime, I've been getting ready these. These are pretzels, little pretzel sticks, with one marshmallow on each end. And this, this is going to be the bone in the end once we get this in white chocolate. So I have nice I'm going to just grab one, and it's not too hot. I'm just going to cover it, pick it up, make sure I got every little spot, put it down. Oops. Okay, I'm going to have to pick it up. Chocolate's not too hot, so I can just do it this way. And this is a better way to pick it up, we realized. Trying to shake off a little bit of the chocolate. Okay, and just stick it down. Making them bones. I put these on wax paper. So I dipped, I put a marshmallow on each end of the pretzel. Shut that, James! It's hot! Shut it! Marshmallow on each end of the pretzel, and then I dipped it in, well, I mean, you saw how I did it. I kind of pushed the chocolate on top of it with my fingers, and it's not hot because it takes not very hot chocolate. It doesn't take it very, make it, doesn't have to be very hot to melt the chocolate, so it doesn't hurt your fingers. Anyways, they're done, and now I'm going to just take them on this cute tray. They look very bone-ish, I'd say. I put them in the fridge for just probably 15 minutes, and they cooled down enough that they come right off the wax paper perfectly. And if there's things like this, you can just break it off to make it look more like a bone. really yummy and Halloweenish. You could have dinner, a Halloween dinner, with these hot dog mummies. You could have, and with these breadsticks that are witch's fingers. Then for dessert, you could have Dracula's Ventures and broomsticks and bones. And then you can also be creative and make a little skeleton man out of all of this. <laughs> We just finished doing the bones, and there's so many fun things you can do at Halloween and with dinner and with your family. Like, these are really fun activities, especially for dinner if you want to get creative. So, check out the other videos, and bye. I'll see ya.